Well, hey guys, Stephen here, Four Oaks Crafts. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to carve a country church. Uh, here are a few uh, of my own designs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to carve uh, this particular church right here. This is a great project for beginning wood carvers. Uh, I came up with uh, these designs uh, simply by just taking a drive out in the country. I snapped a few photos of uh, different churches around the countryside and just gave me a lot of inspiration. As you can see, there's a lot of ways uh, to carve these and to paint them. Uh, for this project, all you're going to really need is a carving knife. And in the video, you're going to see me using this flex cut uh, roughing knife and also the detailed knife. Uh, but I also used a few uh, gouges and uh, V tools uh, to make it a little bit easier for carving some of the textures and the details and getting into some of the tight areas. Uh, let me give you a quick overview before we dive into the video. What you're going to do is start out with a, a block of wood that is roughly three inches um, uh, long, four inches tall, and two and a half uh, inches wide. Um, and here is a drawing of the uh, end view and the side view. If you want to take a minute and pause the video here and take a screenshot. The dimensions don't have to be exact. I highly recommend though, that when you cut your block out, that the grain does run uh, in this direction. And the reason for that is it's gonna make it easier to carve the point of that steeple uh, a little bit later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with my block of wood. I'm gonna cut it to those dimensions that I just mentioned. Then I'm gonna take it over to the bandsaw and then I'm going to take off as much of the waste uh, pieces as I can to get it down to this stage where now I'm going to start using the uh, carving knives to do the carving. So let me let me go over real quick on the, the, the steps before we jump into the actual video. So the first thing that I will work on, you'll see me working on, is the texture here for the roof. I'll start giving the, the roof a little bit of texture. And then next, I'll, you'll see me doing some stop cuts all around on every side of the church. And what that does is it develops the eaves of the roof. And I'll take down uh, a little bit of material on each side. And then after I've done that, I'll go ahead and carve in my door, uh, my windows. And then I will add some grooves to make it look like the church uh, has uh, you know, board siding here. I'll carve the uh, the cross in, and then lastly, I'll carve the uh, steeple. So that's my last step. Now you see here, I painted these a lot of different ways, and we'll talk a little bit more about the painting uh, toward the end of the video. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and let you guys watch the carving video.
Okay, guys, uh, as for uh, painting the churches, there are so many ways that uh, you can go with this. Uh, I went over to the Bing, uh, B-I-N-G, search engine and looked at images of country churches just to get some ideas of uh, different color schemes and combinations. As you can see here, are some examples of just using uh, basically acrylic paints uh, to create uh, different colors and sometimes I'll mix the paints to get di different shades and then after the acrylic paints have dried uh, I uh, use this DuraClear uh, satin varnish and it's just a clear uh, uh, varnish to go over the the top of the paint sort of seal the paint and I like the satin because I don't really like a, a glossy uh, carving so I use the satin varnish and then after this is dried I come back with the uh, the antiquing wax solution and I'll go over the carving put this on and then you immediately uh, wipe it off but what happens is this antiquing wax gets left in the crevices and what it does is it kind of fills in those crevices and creates some shadows uh, for your uh, carving uh, and it also gives it a little bit more of, I think, a rustic uh, look. Uh, the only thing you do have to be careful about is uh, using it on white. Uh, sometimes it doesn't do too well on white, but as you, since I'm going for a rustic looking church, uh, it actually turned out pretty well on this one. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, leave questions or comments in the comments field. And we'll see you in the next video.